All right, welcome back to another Mobile Rise tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work with the floating arrow uh, down here. And what we're going to do is we're going to move it around. And we're also going to change it to an up arrow. And then we're going to add it to a different block, let's say uh, like here. So we've added it to a whole different section. And then when you click this, it takes you all the way to the top. Let's take a look at just moving it around. Uh, first, you need to open a code editor, either inside of MobiRise or inside of uh, your own code editor. And what we're going to look at here, <clears throat> this is the floating arrow. And what we have here is we have a container for the floating arrow. Uh, we're centering it right now. Uh, there's another container inside of that that's a MobiRise uh, section container that has some padding to it. And then the inside of that is the link. And then inside of that is the actual icon. Now it's very easy to change the um, to change the glyph icon. So the glyph icon we're going to use is up instead of down. So we just make that change, click save, and now you have an up arrow. Um, so that, that part is uh, pretty easy. Uh, if you want to change where the link goes to, then you can click this part here. Um, so let's say in our example, we have this um, down a little bit farther. That's good. So we have it here, and when we click this, we want to go up to the top. So uh, the top is always, hashtag top is always going to take you to the very top. So if we select that, you won't be able to tell inside of MobiRise, I don't think. It just pulls up the, uh, the editor. But if you preview it in the browser, um, we'll scroll down to the page and you'll see that it goes to the top. So now we have our button going up, click up to the top, and it's there. Um, let's say we want to move, move this to the right or to the left. What we can do is go into our code editor. Instead of text center, we can make a text right. And that will actually move it over to the right. And if you take this completely off, the default is to the left. So if you wanted to have an arrow here to the left, then you could do that. So that is changing uh, this. And essentially, you could have uh, any sort of um, glyphicon here. Let's try home. Let's see if that's a, OK. Like if you wanted to have that. <clears throat> For people to go back to a home page, uh, you could do that and it would be floating. You could see <laughs> it's kind of a strange look, but um, you could use. And when we do the glyphicons, we're going to uh, glyphicon, glyphicons.com. And then you can see here, uh, these are the choices that you have. So obviously, you could choose uh, from some different types of arrows. Uh, if you wanted like a traditional arrow or you wanted to do uh, uh, really anything. Uh, so there's there are hundreds of glyphicons that you can choose from. And also you could do these little halflings, which are very small. Or you could do uh, social media for some reason to float to a particular part of your page. Um, so all you have to do is click on that and it gives you the glyphicons dash print and then you would take that and you would put that into MobiRise um, right here. So I think this works. Let's see. Yeah. So it's glyphicon instead of cons. So you would use the dash print and then it would give you, you know, whatever, um, whatever icon you wanted to use. Okay, so that's glyphicons.com. <clears throat> All right, let's take a look at something a little bit more tricky. 
And that is taking your arrow, your up arrow. So let's move that back to the center. And we will give that menu up. Uh, so that's just center it back in the place where it needs to be. And you can see that when we do the, uh, the preview in the browser that it's actually floating and, and bouncing a little bit so that people can see it. Um, I believe if you want to take off the floating part, you could just take off this and then it would set the, the arrow link. <clears throat> All right, so what we want to do is we want to take this arrow and we want to put it, let's say, I've done it right here. Uh, so let me just take that off and then take this off and I'll show you what I did. So right now we don't have anything here. I've actually messed Let's do a nude block, actually. Show you. Right. So I have a whole new block here. Let's say we want the same up arrow to go. We're down here at this block, and we want everybody to go up to the top. So we need to break into the code editor here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our HTML um, right here. Let's go off and get it. We need to get this uh, part right here. So it's actually, there's one div, two divs, and then an A. And the A is closed here. So it's one div, two divs, A, one div, two divs. So this section here is what we want to copy. And we want to go down to the, the section that we want to put it in, and then we'll paste it there. Now we have our floating arrow. Um, the problem with this is that this is a white arrow, so this could actually be a problem that people have been having uh, if they're trying to put it on one of these white backgrounds. Um, it doesn't look like it shows up, but if we just add a little style, this is an inline style that you can add, so let's just do the color of uh, like a dark gray. Now you can see that the arrow does actually show up, and it is there, but it's just not quite the way you think. So um, it's there, but it's white. So you have to turn it to a dark color. So that's a little bit of a, an issue. Um, and what we're gonna do, let's, let's take a look at what we have. We've just copied and pasted basically to a whole new section. Let's take a look at it, and you can see. The floating arrow is there. Now as far as I know that's going to work on the bottom. Let me see. Look, what if we move this somewhere like up here though. Sorry. All right, let's try to move it right there. And then when we publish it It's just looking kind of funky here. Let's get rid of this one. This is looking kind of strange when it's sitting right inside there like that. I had good success whenever I took off this class. It says MBR-Arrow. And then I leave the floating class because that's actually going to give you the floating animation. So let's try that and see. So now you can see that it takes it from the center of all the text and it adds it to the bottom part. Now you'll see it even better when we preview it in the browser. Now we have, oh. Well, it did work on my first test one. Let's see, let's try it again. Let's add a block in here. And maybe it needs to be down lower. That's going to push it out of the view. 
So it has to be up a little bit higher. So it can't be right before the section. It has to be before the div that's right before the end of the section, I believe. Let's at least try that and see if it comes up. So you can see that it's showing up, but it's not it's not the color that we want. There it goes. Okay. All right. So now you can see that we have our floating arrow. It's in the proper position. It needs a little bit of uh, margin or padding or something like that in order to clear it from this. But when you click it, it does go up. So you scroll down, you're here, and then you can click that and go back up. Um, so it does work. And the um, if you go to your output files, this is how I found it. If you go to your output files, assets, slash mobirize, slash CSS, and then it's style.css. And I just did a search for arrow. And you can see here that it gives you the MBR arrow. And the reason that it's um, maybe not working out very well is because this class here is stuck to the bottom, 71 pixels up from the bottom. And what that does is if you don't take this off, it actually just leaves it. It leaves it at the very bottom of, of the viewport. So that's gonna be, so it's always gonna be like in this section here, or you know, 71 from the bottom of this particular thing. Um, I did not have very good success with when I didn't remove that. Uh, so let's see if we put it back in. if it works out well. And you see how it does this. So it, it takes it 71 pixels from the bottom of this container. It pushes it up. So that's why it's getting up into this part here. So when you remove that, <clears throat> when you re remove that class, what it does is it puts it after all of this text here. So it basically makes it inline, but before it was taking it out of being inline because it's meant to go on top of a photograph. So it's meant to do a different thing. So in order to go into a text block or to a different block, we need to put it under whatever is last, but it has to be um, one, two, it needs to be inside the last div of the last uh, section container. So we start it here, we go to here, and it needs to be inside this one. <clears throat> and you can change the glyphicon here. Uh, if you want to give it your own style, let's say we want to call it, uh, let's just call it floating arrow. Um, we already have a class, so let's just hook it onto there. And we'll call it floating arrow just to kind of be a little general. We'll come down to our CSS. And we'll add a new class. And we'll say the color, since this was a style that we needed to have. And then we also say, um, let's say margin top of 20 pixels. And then it gives us a little bit of margin on the top. And I think it gives a little bit too much down here, but it does clear the top. So what we need to do is use, we'll try padding on the top instead of margin. And hopefully that won't push the whole thing down. It'll just push the arrow down.
certainly comes out to be the same either way. It looks this the old one and this is the new one. So you're just going to get a little bit of space here. But it does work. And uh, you can begin to play play around with the space here and see what that uh, what you need to change in order to remove that. So that's in the uh, section container last. Um, I don't know. It's this bottom padding here that's messing with it. So you know, a better padding for that would be um, I don't know, sixty. So that's a little bit more natural padding. So you're going to have to play around with this uh, container, container last. If you remove it all together, then it's going to push everything up. And then you're going to have to deal with um, this container. So you might have to add a special, a special class and uh, remove this container last. And then add another class like um, arrow container or something like that. And then change the padding on the bottom uh, to something that's a little bit more reasonable. So that is um, how to take a floating arrow and how to put it into a whole different block, um, a MobiRise block, so that it, you can free it from this particular block here and you can actually uh, put it into a different part of or a different section of your page. Even And even if you um, take this and you were to put it in the footer, it would be a nice little, and then maybe float it over to the right or to the bottom. It will be a nice little uh, back to the top type of scrolling button. So I hope this answers some questions that people have had. And uh, it helped me out. I learned something new. Uh, if you have any questions about it, uh, you can email me. My email is brian, B-R-I-A-N, at highwaywebconsulting.com. And you can also uh, find me on Twitter at Brian Hafferkamp. And also feel free to leave a, a comment in this video and if you would, just subscribe. I'm trying to create new videos all the time, and if you have any uh, suggestions or anything like that, you can leave a message either on my channel or you can leave a message on this video.